What's up everybody, this is MMA Rant, and I'm coming to y'all today with another video. But before I get started, I want to say thank you to all the subscribers. Thank you to everybody that's been leaving me comments, good or bad. I promise you I'll get to you when I get a chance to. Leave that. Also, I want to thank everybody for sharing my videos. Thanks to everybody that's been leaving me with a thumbs up. I'm graciously appreciative of all of that. And if you like what you're hearing with my videos and you're not a subscriber of my channel, please subscribe to my channel for more of my MMA rant. Now on with the video. This video I'm posting today is about Daniel Cormier basically letting John Jones know, putting him on blast, saying, hey buddy, that performance you did at UFC 197, if you would have fought me at UFC 197, buddy, you would have lost. You would have fucking took an L. And guess what, y'all? I always get on Daniel Cormier about the dumb shit that he be doing on social media. But guess what, man? I gotta call it how I call it. I gotta call it how I see it. And I hope that's what y'all appreciate about my channel. But man, I gotta give mad props to Daniel Cormier. Because Daniel Cormier was speaking some truth and some knowledge with all of that shit that happened at UFC 197. Daniel Cormier put on his analysis hat and basically... He threw the kitchen sink and everything at John Jones as much as he could. And I'm going to explain it to y'all in this video why I'm on Daniel Cormier's side with all of this. If you didn't see UFC 197, I hope you catch it. It was a pretty good um, pay-per-view. But John Jones basically fought Owen St. Cruz, a number six ranked light heavyweight in that light heavyweight division. Owen St. Cruz is a flip-flop type of winner. He doesn't put together a string of wins. His last fight, he won. And the fight before that, he lost. Okay, so Ovin St. Peru hasn't been looking that good lately, okay? Ovin St. Peru took this fight on three weeks' notice, also with John Jones, okay? Now, to John Jones' credit, John Jones has been out of UFC competition for, I want to say, over a little bit over a year. His last fight was with against Daniel Cormier. And that was in January of 2015. So John Jones has not fought in over a year, okay? So that hurt him as well. But if you look at this fight very closely, and I'm only going to go by the eye test and also the listening test, John Jones did not perform well in that competition fight at all with Ovin St. Prude, okay? John Jones basically did good, like I said in, his other, in my other video, okay? John Jones did good with his strategy. But John Jones played it very cautious, very safe. And to me, taking the eye test, John Jones looked like he got tired towards the end of that fight. I know a lot of people are going to say different, but John Jones looked slow. And how I'm saying that I agree with Daniel Cormier with a lot of shit he said, Daniel Cormier picked up on the same thing. John Jones looked kind of tired, and John Jones looked like he slowed down a lot in that fight. Now, Remember, John Jones has been out of competition for a year. But like I also said, John Jones has been changing up his lifestyle, his diet, his workout regimen. He's been doing all of this since he's been out. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm somebody that's big into health. I work out every day. I eat clean. I eat right. And guess what? I got stamina, energy, and strength for days. I can go all freaking day and all freaking night. I'm telling you, I can. Okay? But John Jones didn't look that good towards the end of that fight. And he started taking over St. Peru down. Now, people want to say, oh, John Jones was strong in that fight. John Jones pushed um, over St. Peru up towards the fence towards the end of the fight. Over St. Peru is the one that got tired. Guess what, y'all? I'm going to break something down to y'all real quick. If y'all didn't notice this, over St. Peru took this fight on three weeks' notice. Also, Ovin St. Prue broke his arm reportedly in the second round of that fight. So Ovin St. Prue was fighting John Jones with one hand throughout that fight. And Ovin St. Prue was fighting orthodox stance, which is a stance that he usually doesn't fight. He usually fights southpaw. And that kind of explains now why Ovin St. Prue was fighting orthodox a little bit more than usual because he kind of was switching it up throughout the fight. Okay? Now, with you knowing that now, before I finish, I'm going to let y'all know this. If y'all like this video here, hit me with about 20 thumbs up. I will post round two of UFC 197, John Jones versus Ovin St. Prude. I will post that on my next video that I post. 
it'll be the complete round two of that fight. If I could get 20 thumbs up on this video right here, I'll be graciously appreciative of it. But anyway, so that's why it looked like John Jones had a lot of strength and a lot of beast mode with Ovis St. Prue in that fight. True, Ovis St. Prue was tired, but guess what? Ovis St. Prue was fighting with one arm, okay? Then another thing also, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below with my Facebook and also a link to something John Jones did that I did not like at all. When, um, uh, uh, what's that girl's name? I can't even think of her name. One that does all the um, interviews with the fighters. You know, Megan Olivia. She did an interview with John Jones. And basically, like I said, I'm gonna post a link to that video. She let John Jones know that Ovis St. Cruz broke his arm. I did not like how John Jones reacted to that at, at, at all. You know, he made fun of the situation. I was gonna do another whole video on that, but I'm gonna do it with this one right here. He made fun of the situation. He started singing and doing a little dance, talking about basically something about him with him so so much for his chicken legs or whatever. And then he left this he left the um interview. You know, but I did not like that with John Jones. John Jones has got a lot of bad omens coming up with him right now, and it's not looking good. I'm being honest with you. Daniel Cormier said, hey, this is the new John Jones. John Jones claimed that it's not Rain Rust. John Jones wanna claim that he had to train for a um, Southpaw with strong um, power in his, in his hands. Guess what, y'all? Over St. Cruz was not fighting Southpaw. Over St. Cruz did not have strong power in his hands because he had one of his arms broken. And he was fighting conventional. So John Jones could not pull the trigger on an injured fighter and somebody that only came in on three weeks notice. And for John Jones to be that much improved, that much better, that much um, stronger with his, with his weight lifting, his conditioning, eating clean, he couldn't do anything better than what he did. I'm not trying to knock him, but I'm only going by what I see. Also, I'm also going by what I hear. John Jones said this himself before this fight and leading up to this fight. John Jones talked about how much better shape he's in, how much he's eating better, how much he's living right, how much he's been training hard. And guess what? He said he respects Ovin St. Cruz so much. And y'all know he said this. He said he respects Ovin St. Cruz so much, he's going to go in there and give Ovin St. Cruz the best John Jones that has ever walked into the octagon and that he's going to try to take um, Ovin St. Cruz out the best way he knows how to. And guess what? I'm just going by what John Jones said. And basically, when he got in that octagon, performed the way he performed, he really didn't have an answer for it at the end of the night. The only thing John Jones knew at the end of the night was that he, for some reason, he didn't know why he did not perform the way he wanted to perform. And basically, the way he performed, he claimed it wasn't ring rust. If you listen to that, um, the, um, the post-fight um, press conference, John Jones stuck by his gun saying, hey, it wasn't ring rust, it wasn't ring rust. But a nice young lady, a reporter, asked him a question at the very end of that fight. Um, I mean, at the end of that press conference, asked him about him getting, being hurt. And if that was a sign of ring rust, and you know what John Jones said? It might have been a little bit of ring rust. So John Jones is wishy-washy on how, how his perspective of the fight went. He really don't know what happened. Daniel Cormier said, hey, buddy. Guess what, man? John Jones, buddy. That's the John Jones that you're gonna that you're gonna be now. That's the John Jones that showed up in the fight. And that's that's what's gonna happen with you from now here on out. For John Jones' sake, I hope that's not true. Because if it is, like Daniel Cormier said, if John, if John Jones would have fought Daniel Cormier at UFC 197, John Jones would have lost that fight, y'all. And I hate to say that, but that's the truth. Also, that is the John Jones that we're gonna see from now on. He's going to lose against Daniel Cormier in, in the fight that they fight next time. Also, John Jones has really got to get his stuff together as far as who he really is and how he's trying to perceive himself to be with us, the fans. Because one minute he's polite, respectful, and gracious, and then the next minute he's acting like a damn douche. And the reason why I'm saying it is how he responded to Ovin St. Cruz's broken arm. I respect Ovin St. Cruz. He's a hell of a fighter. He's a good man. He had nothing bad to say about John Jones at all. No disrespect to the man at all whatsoever. And I didn't like what how he responded to him hearing about Ovin St. Cruz's broken arm. And like I said, I will post a link in the description below to that video so y'all can check it out. Also, if I get 20 thumbs up on this video, 
I will post round two of UFC 197, John Jones versus Ovin St. Cruz. And that way we can look and kind of see if we can pick up a win over St. Cruz broke his arm. Over St. Cruz is a hell of a fighter. But I want to thank y'all for listening to my video. Share this video. Again, hit me up on Facebook, y'all. Hit me with 20 thumbs up. If you do, I'll post that video. And guess what, y'all? If you're listening right now and you like what you heard, please subscribe to my channel. And like always, y'all, and until next time, Still in this fight, you better know